Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Hmm. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> Those years ago, the child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? Mm -hmm. You know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham saw to that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving!
and we'll give a cry when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box and little else. Brothers, sisters, fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy, and thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Make the stop, Hickey. Go! another day <sighs> shame i want answers why did johnson try and buy my people's land why was pitcairn targeting adams and hancock what purpose would washington's murder have served why does your order support the british how should i know the templars lee the big man hatham they has the money they has the power that's the reason i threw him with them that's the only reason Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who or how or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek, had it even. Hugh, your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop! He wanted to kill the commander. 
Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. <clears throat> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. If you remember back to the Haytham Kenway intro to AC3, you'll know Thomas Hickey as that brash, rude son of a bitch with the underclassman accent. Hickey is a standout from the other Templars just because of how ungentlemanly he is, which is important when recruiting a crime syndicate. Connor begins tailing Hickey's operation in New York, where he learns that he's a counterfeiter trying to undermine the fledgling country's economy. When Connor gets too close, Hickey bolts into the street where he gets pounced on by Connor and then immediately arrested when caught by the arms with the bogus bills. Apparently that's all the evidence you need to arrest two people who begin fist fighting in the streets during the 18th century. Anyway, Connor gets jailed along with Hickey, but because of his Templar connections, Hickey gets moved to a first-class cell while Connor rots in his. I guess Achilles was a bit too asleep to learn that Connor was in the Hooskow. What a mentor. The prison chapter of this game was a neat idea, and having the player try to survive dangerous situations using whatever could be found on the dirty floors, that includes pickpocketing, fist fights, and an escape from his eventual execution. You get... Execution? For counterfeiting? Seriously? Hickey got bailed out pretty quickly considering that Hickey is almost conducting Connor's hanging personally. Connor escapes before his tragic end and chases down the pompous Thomas to properly thank him for his little insults earlier. Thomas Hickey died as he lived, no great redemption attempt to be found here. Hickey was just along for the ride for some cheap booze, cash, and the floozies. At least you can say that Thomas Hickey stood by his guns, and I can respect him for that, even if I don't much care for this type of character that he was. <laughs>